Let's talk ocean currents. In today's video, I'm gonna show you an easy lab you can do with students to see the effect of temperature on deep ocean currents. All right, for the next demo, we're going to talk about temperature and what is the effect of temperature on ocean currents. So for this demo, you're going to need four glass containers that have a flat lid. So I wouldn't recommend using a beaker because they have that little lip on them. They need to be able to meet flush. So um, I have four, I have two that have cold water in them, and then I have two that are going to have hot water in them. So this has been warming on this hot plate for a little bit. It's not hot, hot, but hot enough. And we're going to fill these up. And then we're going to add food coloring. We want the same color for the hot and the same color for the cold. So I'm going to put yellow in the cold and blue in the hot. And then you can mix those up. And the last thing you need are note cards. So I'm going to take my uh, one hot and one cold, and I'm gonna flip or invert one on top of the other. So for one of them, we're gonna put the cold on top, and then for the other one, we're gonna put the hot on top, and then students are going to observe what happens, okay? So I will do that real fast. Okay, so as we let this sit for a second, they're gonna see that on the one where we had the hot water on top, not a whole lot of mixing is happening. So if they have a basic understanding of kinetic theory and how atoms move when they're heated, we know that the atoms up here are moving a lot faster. And so they're um, rising and then the cold atoms are kind of chilling down here and they sink, okay? Over here, when we flipped it and we had the, um, hot on the bottom and the cold on top, they wanted to, that hot water and the atoms were moving faster and wanted to spread out. And so we see that mixture. So what does this have to do with ocean currents? Colder ocean water will sink do down towards the bottom of the ocean. And as the um, water gets warmed, especially near the equator, then we have these warm currents that come to the top. You can also use this same demo for earth science if you're talking about convection in the asthenosphere and um, plate motion so they can see a convection current happening there. So this is a really fun one because it's so visual and the color changes are um, really easy for students to grasp and understand what's going on. Be sure to check out my other video on ocean currents and if you want more ideas, hit subscribe.